What's good YouTube? Welcome to my channel Trendy Topics where we discuss the latest in hip hop and gossip. In today's video, we want to talk about Kodak Black lawyer speaking out about his current situation, PD the praise for the nation after COVID-19 pandemic still ongoing, and Takashi 69 associate Kuda B once out of prison in fears of the COVID-19. So what we're going to be talking about first is Kodak Black lawyer just speaking out. He has some good news and some not so good news. So um, he posted on Instagram and this is what it read. Some good news and some frustration in regards to Kodak Black. The case in New York is resolved. I was not his attorney on that case, although it should have been completely dismissed as it was for the other two individuals in the same car who testified that Kodak Black knew nothing about the firearm in the vehicle and it was registered and legal to one of the individuals he was with. They agreed to 12 months to run concurrent with his current sentence. Even the judge asked the prosecutor, why are they not dismissing? Kodak Black just wanted to resolve it so he doesn't lose any time in federal. You see, when you are out of federal custody, you lose that time on your federal case. Now, with the coronavirus, it's unknown when they will pick him up due to the virus. The Bureau of Prisons need to address these issues that federal inmates are credited back time they miss due to this outbreak. More information to follow this as we really need to develop deep into how Kodak Black is being treated differently than any other inmate and any other defendant. Next up, we will discuss what I say is triple jeopardy and the holding off on charges to attempt to stack a defendant with extra time, like in the case in So Miami. So guys, what do y'all think about Kodak Black lawyer basically speaking out on how his defendant is being treated? And we must admit and say that Kodak Black is definitely, he's not being treated fair, guys. We got to speak, you know, justice. Because of this coronavirus, um, a lot of cases are being pushed back, right? So they need time to be taken off some of his sentence or whatever because y'all know that court, you know, some court cases, as I said, um, has come to a stop. But what do y'all think, guys? At least we have some good news in this whole situation. At least the person came out and said they were the owner of the gun. It was licensed to them. Kodak Black didn't know about the gun in the car. I mean, you know, it's really sad to see how they're treating Kodak Black. But what can he do? He just got to wait um, and just hope that he doesn't get COVID-19 in the prison cell because we see where persons like R. Kelly want to get out, 6 9 want to get out, and maybe some other inmates who are scared of this um, COVID-19 situation. But as I said, guys, leave your comments and let me know how y'all feel about this. So now let's move on to the next topic. So P. Diddy was feeling a bit religious. Well, I'm not going to say religious, but he put out a, um, a video basically praying for the world. And to be honest, we need all the prayer right now because the COVID-19, it's not plain, guys. It's so real. Y'all see how many persons in New York are losing their lives. Persons from around the world are losing their lives. So I think the world just need to pray. And I think we will get over this. But what I'll do right now is play the video of PDD basically praying. And y'all can tell me what you think about it. So listen to this, guys. Forgive us, God, and... Bless us through this situation. Bless our health care workers in the front lines. Bless our elderly. Bless people all over the world. It's not just a wherever you at thing. It's happening all over the world. Bless everybody. And please forgive us. Because when you forgive us, then you would have sent a cure or it would have been through, through, through your way and we would have learned we, we would have learned the lesson so God please come to the rescue Amen so do you actually believe that Diddy is being sincere about this prayer or do you think he's doing it for clout? Because we see where a lot of persons are still doing some stuff for clout regardless of the COVID-19 pandemic. But I know Diddy to be, you know, he's a cool dude, he's a cool person. But a lot of persons think that he's a part of the Illuminati, him, Jay-Z and a few others. Well, to be honest, I'm not really too sure about that Illuminati shit. It's not something that I really believe in. But we all know that famous saying, what's in the dark must come to light. So let's just hope that this prayer was sincere. But either way, we all need to do our own prayer. We all need to pray for this world because as I said, the COVID-19, it's no joke. But anyway, guys, leave your comments and let me know how y'all feel about this. 
So now I want to talk about Koda B, which is Tekashi 69 associate, well, ex-associate. He wants out of prison due to COVID-19. So what I'm going to do is read the article so you guys can get an understanding of it, and then you can tell me how y'all feel. So it says, Koda B, one of the convicts from the Nine Tray Blood Gang case, requested to be dismissed from the prison because of his vulnerability to the coronavirus. It seems every inmate with an active lawyer these days has attempted to get an early release because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Tekashi 69 played an integral role in the prosecution against the Nine Tray Blood, which led to the arrest, charge, and even conviction of multiple gang members. Koda B, one of the rapper's associates who were implicated, has requested through his attorney that he be released on bond due to his asthma, which makes him more susceptible to the coronavirus disease. According to Complex, his lawyer Lisa Scolari had requested that the bond be set to the same amount as last year of 300000 The attorney told the judge that her client was provided with an albutural inhaler upon entering the prison facility, which he has been using every month to address incidents of shock sharpness of bread she also highlighted the issue of the current conditions of the prison not being conductive to health. They are overcrowded, making it impossible to enforce the social distancing necessary to prevent spread of the virus. Inmates live in close quarters, share facilities such as sinks and showers. The MCC also has shortage of soaps and disinfectants, Scolari said. In the court's response, they call Kuda B's medical condition a minor form of asthma and denied the request. According to court documents, the government rejected the plea deal stated that the reliance on the current health crisis to secure his release post-conviction and less than three months from sentencing is unfounded and should be denied. They said about the incarcerated former associate of Takashi 69. With this outbreak spreading wide and fast, the growing issue of prison conditions have become more pressing. We can only hope that the lawyers stay on top of things. So what do y'all think, guys? I'm going to be plain, blunt and honest. Koda B will not be getting out of prison anytime soon. You understand what I'm saying? Because if Tekashi 69 who cooperated with the government, right, made a plea deal, all of that snitched on his gang members and stuff, and he wanted to get out of prison um, early because of the COVID-19, they didn't release him. They shut down his, um, his plea deal and stuff like that. So Koda B, who did no form of snitching, he doesn't stand a chance. But, I mean, it's definitely going to be hard to practice practice social distancing while you're in prison because of you have to use showers that other inmates use you have to be in you know among other inmates so it's kind of hard to practice the whole social distancing so all we got to do is just hope that it doesn't hit any one of the prison inmate because that would be like really horrific but leave your comment let me know how y'all feel i mean we see a lot of persons you know trying to get out of prison as i said before we see r kelly trying it we see Tekashi 69 trying it, and now we see Koda B trying it. And I'm pretty sure by next week, we're going to see other um, celebrities trying it. And I mean, some persons are going to say, why not let out everyone? <laughs> but leave your comments and let me know how y'all feel about this. Also, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you don't, you can hit the thumbs down button. Also, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And make sure you share the video to a friend. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.